Today we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons of living in Buda, Texas. Buda is a southern suburb of Austin and is about 20 minutes from downtown. The primary way into Austin is I-35, and if you've ever driven that before, you know that traffic is a major con. There is an alternative route along 1626 to Mopac, but there's also congestion along that route, especially during rush hour. One of the trade-offs to all this population growth is that the roads typically lag behind the homes. To give you an idea of how fast Butte is growing, in 2000, there were about 3,000 people living here. And in 10 years, that doubled almost 7,500. By 2021, that number had doubled again to over 15,000. That is a lot of people with a lot of cars driving the same roads. And we'll see several examples of this, not only in Buda, but across the metro. Where the new housing development has started, and the only way in might be a little Tulane County Road. But that road is not expanded until after a couple of thousand new homes are built and all those people move in. In other words, there are a lot of areas in Buda where there's pretty bad congestion now, and it might get a little bit worse in the future. But all those new residents are gonna provide the new tax revenue, which is eventually gonna fund the development and expansion of the roads. Now, one pro about living in Buda is the cost of homes here. Even though it's only about 20 minutes from downtown Austin, there are some homes here priced for under $300,000. This is the Green Meadows neighborhood, which is just east of I-35. The first homes here were built around 2006. Comparable homes in the northern suburbs will be at least $50,000 more expensive. And something like this in the city of Austin will be at least $100,000 more. If you prefer new construction, there are a lot of builders in Buda too. This is D.R. Horton's latest development called Prairie Lakes. You can see that the roads are done and the construction has started. And eventually, there will be a lot of homes here. Now to sum up, one of the pros about living in Buda is the lower cost for homes. But the con is you're going to be much further out especially if you're in one of these newer developments where you have that two-lane country road that hasn't yet been upgraded or expanded. One of my favorite parts about Buda is this downtown historical area. Like most towns in Texas, the first development in Buda was near the train station. And some of these buildings date back to the days before everyone had cars. These buildings look much like they did 100 years ago. But today you'll find cigar shops, antique shops, and coffee bars. This is the Meridian Coffee Bar, which features live music in the evening and it's a great space to drink a latte and hang out. The name Buda derives from the Spanish word Buda, which means widow. The story goes that there were two widows who cooked here at the Carrington House, and they had such a reputation of great food and great hospitality that everybody wanted to come here. Well, a lot of the people that settled in this area were of German descent, and when they heard the word Buda, they wrote it down with the B, Buda, and the name kind of stuck. Another interesting part about Buda's history is that just west of downtown is Antioch Colony. After the Civil War, a group of former slaves formed this community. It remained primarily a farming community, but it was completely segregated until 1961. There are historical markers and reminders of this period from history, such as this building, which used to be the old school, and the cemetery. One aspect of Buda that could either be a pro or a con, depending on your perspective, is that even though it's close to Austin, there are numerous reminders that you're in a more rural Texas area. There are no Cracker Barrel restaurants inside the Austin city limits. And many people in Austin might frown on the wide selection of guns available at Cabela's. Butte is part of the Hayes Consolidated Independent School District. There are over 21,000 students and 26 schools. And there are a lot of things to do in Buda. This is a historic Stagecoach Park, which is just outside of downtown. There are miles of walking trails, and this is just one of several parks in Buda. If walking trails aren't your thing, you might want to check out the Jackson Tyler Morris Memorial Skate Park. Now, one positive of all these new residents is they increase the tax revenue. And the city of Buda has spent a lot of money on things like this new municipal building with the public library. Just a little south of Buda is Kyle, and watch this video to find out more about it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video.